Wake up already. Come on. Oh, for Christ's sake. There we go, finally. Freeze. <gasps> You. So now I can finally move on. Uh, just going to check that there's nothing here, and there isn't. There's some uh, gun turrets here, um, camera turrets. Just shoot out those. Okay, so now we're back at the nuclear warhead storage building. Again, there's some guards to take down. And this time I'm gonna try to use the tranquilizing sniper. I think I'm gonna have to move a little. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, damn it. Ah. Ah, can I hit him here? Yep. Okay. So now have to take the elevator down. Check these locker first, lockers first. And had both of them, so... Okay. Go down to B2 to check... Uh, for some items first. Can't really remember if there's anything, any new rooms I can access now or not, but I think it's worth checking to make sure that you are fully stocked up on items and equipment. And I got a body armor. So now I just have to head back up to B1. Better check these rooms too to see that there's nothing new here. Oh. Oh. 
There we go. Nah. Medicine, yeah. That can be useful if you get a cold, which you can get in this and the original. I remember that was a pain in the ass sometimes when you got that cold and you just start sneezing when you're trying to sneak up on an enemy and you don't have the medicine. That could be quite irritating. get through here again and for that I'm gonna use the box I think or maybe the hanker yeah because now that you have that they recognize sniper wolf scent or something and they still won't attack you so there's yet another way to get through here without being attacked Now we're back where we were, and we're going to get a cutscene, which reminds us what happens, basically. In this scene, in the original, there was there's actually a very very minor part that seems to do something a bit wrong but again but that but I don't know because in the original I always remember that when it gets to this part you walk into there this this place you walk up to the blood and the cutscene comes in and for some reason snake then wanders up to this stain from uh, as if he's coming from the tower where sniper wolf was so I don't really know, so that's kind of confusing. Why is he coming from there and not from where you came in? You come, he walks up to the blood stain from the opposite side and I don't know if that's a mistake or if you're supposed to think that he walked past it and then had to go back or something, I don't know. It's just weird. But anyway, this scene is basically just a reminder of what happened and just a look into Snake's mind to see what's going through his head. That he's pissed off. 